Talks for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas appear to be stalled for now as both sides call the other's demands unreasonable. Overnight, thousands of Israelis gathered in Tel Aviv to call for the release of hostages held by Hamas in Gaza. These protesters say time is running out for their government to act and reach an agreement. Family members have waited 135 days for information about their loved ones. We need Benjamin Netanyahu to also stop playing games, okay? get his team into Cairo, negotiate, put a fair deal on the table, and end this phase. Then talk about the day after without the hostages being held. As diplomatic efforts continue to free the hostages, Israel's defense minister says that his country will continue to operate when possible to try to save those being held by Hamas. In the meantime, Russia says that it is in full control of Adkiva in eastern Ukraine. It's Russia's biggest victory in nine months and a major setback for Ukraine, one that some lawmakers say signals the urgency of another aid package for the embattled country. They've just had their lost the first defeat, the Ukrainians, since last May, uh, uh, partly as a result of the fact that they're outgunned 10 to 1 by the Russians. We can help solve that problem for them, and we should. But the bill to provide Ukraine with another $60 billion in funding is in limbo. Those in favor of sending aid say that the impact of deterring Russian aggression goes beyond Ukraine's borders. Those opposed argue that there is no end in sight to the war.